I really, really like you. I really like you too. And it's, it's like hard to like put myself out there knowing that it could be like crushed so immediately, you know? It's very, very challenging. But what do you want? I don't know. It's been weird. It's been a very weird journey, especially this past week. Because, the, the, again, the looming hometowns have been very, uh, like, it's challenging for me. Mm. It stinks that, like, the other five guys in the house are the, the way that they think about a hometown, where it's like they're excited for you to meet their family and they're so, like, adamant about their family's approval of you and vice versa. Mm -hmm. My family is not going to be the family that you want to see. Okay. When my mother passed away, <laughs> like, the first 15 years of my life, like, my father was the person that was like, hey, let's go dirt biking. Hey, let's go snowboarding. And he was never the person like, hey, let me drive you to school. Let, hey, let me take you to lunch. Like, he was never that guy. Mm -hmm. So it's like, the second my mother passed away, who was that person, he wasn't able to flip the switch and become that person that I needed him to be. And it took a big hit in our relationship. He's just not a person that has any bearing on my emotional experience, I guess you could say. Mm -hmm. um, he's become quite a bit more eccentric. Mm -hmm. So what I wish you could see is the family that I had in my most developmental years of 0 through 15 and not the family that abandoned me at like the most vulnerable time in my life. And I know that family's important to you. And so the thing that was my biggest concern is going into obviously a potential hometown is that you would judge my family into what our potential family could be. Mm -hmm. I put my most honest self out there and I hope it's good enough, but that's her decision to make. Okay, family is important to me, but when it comes to hometowns, I'm not looking to find a family that is exactly like the one I have. Like, I have my family, I'm good. And I'm not expecting the person that I'm with to have that as well, especially when I understand where they're coming from. So, you're not here by accident. The way that you are and like how you have handled everything, I think is beautiful and Tonight was really big for me because I didn't want the nighttime to be like the daytime. Right. And I feel like we had a really, really good conversation. I feel like I have a much better understanding of you. And honestly, I hope that from today you realize how much I get you. And when I think about hometowns, I want to meet the people who have made you the amazing person that you are sitting in front of me today. So. I would love to meet your family. I want to meet who is the most important to you. So, in saying all of that, Dean, will you accept this rose? Let me think about it for a second. Five, four, <laughs> three. Is that a yes? Absolutely. Okay. I don't know if you're ready for Ashton, though. <laughs> it's going to be weird, I told you. I'm happy that I opened up and. For her to be open to the idea of a dysfunctional, patriarchal family is a... It feels good. 